microphone. Now listen. You suck. <laughs> now listen to me. Really now why am I mad? Why am I? I'm not I looking at you. Right up to mine. I'm not looking at you. Mine. <laughs> mine. Come. Although you, uh, his was funnier. <laughs> <laughs> so guess who went on WABC the other night and badmouthed me all over WABC no, radio? No, it wasn't Late Richard night. Lewis. Oh. Nah. It was not Richard Lewis. No, I no can't way. believe sir, it. Sir, no were you on WABC the other night? Oh yeah, it was Friday, 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 Friday night. Malsberg. He's a friend of mine. What, what was that, sir? He was on Steve Malsberg, the loser. On on Friday night. Yeah, another loser. loser. Was he a wrestler? Or loser yeah. friends? He's a filling guy. That's what he is. Go ahead. And what happened? Shock. And he called. Let me tell you something. He didn't. First of all, he didn't. Oh, ask shut up! About I'm you. a fan of Howard Stern. Yeah. Well, let Hang me just up. hear. Then what are you yeah, nervous wait about? Wait a minute. What's your little you baby say? fan? Let me like, hear what he is. Okay. Let me hear. Let me. Let me hey, just Richard, hear what you said oh, about you me. Oh, you shut. Why? Richard, I'm a grown I, man. Richard, not a baby. All right, but you're being a baby. I call him a moron. Howard knows I love. Oh, you call me a moron. He didn't only call you a moron. He called you infantile. He said I have to put Howard in his place. Whenever yeah, and that's what he says about show? Letterman, I bet. All right. Oh, yeah, he didn't say nothing about Letterman. Yeah, let, me hear you so, let me hear you call Letterman uh -oh, a moron. Oh, Richard, you're Let me hear you call Letterman a moron. Uh, uh, Go ahead, call own, Letterman a moron. I have my own rope Now you hurt me. Oh. I never I called, called you a moron. That was good acting. No, hey, I'm not acting. Check the gate. I'm not acting. He thinks I'm kidding. No, he was really terrible to you, really. He didn't say nothing about Letterman. You know why? You know why? Because Richard Lewis can't figure out why I'm successful. Richard Lewis, I don't know why he's successful. You're jealous. Richard, ah. like everyone else. Richard, you should be doing funerals, Richard. Funerals? All right, get this guy off already. You make what did he say about you, me? Tell me everything. You hate me, fine. I'm telling you what I he love said. you. God bless you. He said you get were infantile. He said he has to put you in your place. Oh, why don't we do this he like said, a Saputo film like and rerun this crap I'd every like for the next three hours? Well, you wouldn't tell us what you said. Why yeah. you because you don't tell us. you hate me. Good luck. You have a great day. You know what? If anybody has a tape of this program, I would love to hear it. Please send it to me. He came on at 1 o'clock, Oh, he's still on. What time? Yeah. No, I'm not. He's going to be on the entire time you're on. If it's he the truth. irritates you, I he's a loser. He stay. Steve Malsberg is a loser. Nobody listens to him. I never even heard of Steve Malsberg. I only do it because I work all night, and I just put him on because he's such a loser. Right. You wanted to hear what a loser sounded like. And then when I heard this other loser was coming on, I said, let me oh. just hear what he's going to say. Because he's my friend, and you think he'd say something nice. He stabbed you so bad, he didn't say one word about Letterman. And let me tell you, they hate you on WABC, Howard. Yeah, of course they do, because they, yeah. you know what they did? They, they have 24-hour-a-day programming of my show. They take different elements of it and put it on there. Yeah, but they get Baba booed a lot, too. Right. Even the program director this admits sucks. it. sucks. Come on. Oh, you it sucks? Let's go oh, sorry. Why don't you call me a moron to my face? An infantile. Get, get, uh, get Mr. Brainchild over and I'll do it. I, all right, so you don't like me. I'm sorry. Backstabber. I don't want everyone to like me. I'd Backstabber. Suck. No, not everybody likes you. That's why you're a hit. Nobody likes you, Richard. <laughs> well, you don't. I'm sorry. To, I'm fine. I, I, I like you. Backstabber. You, 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 I like you. you God funny, bless you. You were funny for five minutes, though. <laughs> All right, you want free tickets to the Sands? I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I'm in the Copa Room, February 1st I, let me tell you something. I wouldn't Vegas. see you for you free either. Now. You would have thought I tattooed numbers on Richard's arms the way he treats me. Oh, it was terrible. I was really yeah. shocked. I, I thought he would say something good joke. about you. Suck you. <laughs> suck you with that <laughs> joke, you piece of crap sense of humor. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, try and turn it around. Like, I said something bad. I never called you a moron. Yeah, I'm going to call you a moron at the Kessler. Thanks, thanks. Richard, what time are you on? Richard, what time is your TV show on? Huh? What time is your TV show on? Well, I'm developing a new one for HBO. Yeah, with Don Rickles. What's the your business? Is Don Rickles going to be in it? No, it's a new show. That's four years ago. Try to get out of your time machine. Oh, Howard. Yeah. Then he said he was Trump That was a good idea. Get Tom Rickles. <laughs> no, I'm not getting him off. Hey, uh, Howard. I'm not getting. Was, goodbye. Uh, well, yeah, yeah, Richard uh, left. He left. Uh, Boy, did you piss him off this time? Uh, <laughs> I couldn't wait to call. I really mean it. That well, was the guy called me a moron. He did. Oh dear. And that was terrible. I thought he'd say something nice about you. <laughs> I would have he never called. He left his coat. He's not going. <laughs> he ain't anywhere. going anywhere. <laughs> you better believe he ain't going anywhere. I mean, he needs me more than I need him. He's off. He's off the phone. Come on. Hey, the guy's off the phone. Act like you're off the yeah, phone. Right. Okay. So the, guy's the guy's off the phone. I hung up on him. We love you. No, I mean, so the I hung up me. on the guy. I, you know, so I don't give a crap. I, I hung like up it. on the we guy, all right? I hung up on him. So I have a call back. Is that the, is that the, I you want him to call back? that one guy upset you so much. No, you know what it is? It's because back... No, it's not him. I don't care about him. He is not... Hey, Richard, like Richard. Guess who's back? Hey, Richard! Listen... <laughs> <laughs> So you didn't have sex with Jade Barrymore, Drew Barrymore's mother? I don't know mother. if she had, no, it was more of like a homo. <coughs> Ever consider hiring a live-in maid? She makes me feel like a stranger in my house. They like to cook and clean the dishes. What if she doesn't like me? They love your children and your husband. Are you sleeping with her? And best of all, get out of this house. They never want to leave. 
I'm scared, Mommy. You don't understand. There is not much time. You must tell me where she is. Don't miss Midnight's Child. Saturday, January 27th, 7 Eastern, 4 Pacific, only on E! Let's see. No, let's get to the interview. There's no more fun. We used to do advertising. Used to plug, I don't do that anymore. To... I'll get you in and out of here before the advertising. Now listen to me. No. You say you claim to have made love to Jade Barrymore, Drew Barrymore's mother. No, I never made love to her. What did you do? Out. You made out with her. Seventies. Get close really? to the microphone. Now you got something to say. Let's oh. hear it. Oh, that's something to say. Yeah. Cool. I knew that would. Have... How did you meet her? How old was Drew and where was she at the about time? About eighteen. I was about twenty-four. No, really. How old were you when you used to know I'm Jade Barrymore? Four, twenty-five. And how old was Drew, the baby? Oh, Drew. Oh. I remember it was a great night. She, we were at the You house. were with we Drew were and Jade? You were making no, out with both of them? Jade, that was, it's a new name. I don't forget. Is that a real name? Jade, yeah, it's a new name. Yeah, I forget what her name yeah. was. like 25 years ago. Wow. But she said uh, Spielberg put uh, Drew in, uh, in this movie, and it's like, gonna, you know, she was so excited. On that, and, and you couldn't get her in bed? All you did was make out with her? No, we were oh. just more friends, but we used to like making out, like behind really? before I went on stage. It's cool. She's a hot little piece of ass, oh, isn't she? Oh, great, yeah. yeah. And she's, she's cool. And you never nailed her? But, huh? You never nailed no, her? No, we never wanted... She, actually, I probably would have tried, but... Uh, you weren't that wanted. famous yet? You couldn't get her? Yeah, you had that theory. <laughs> yeah, I know that, that theory. If you weren't a comic, you'd be cutting pastrami <laughs> theory. I, I don't think you'd be having girls like you have. Not, like it's bad. You're not a bad-looking guy, but so you're not that great-looking. I'm not great-looking anymore. I'm so old. you didn't have sex with Jade Barrymore, Drew Barrymore's mother? I don't know mother. if she had, No, it was more of like... A homo! <clears throat> okay. Baby gay. How could you not... <laughs> baby gay. Baby. All right. You know, well... Did you call me baby gay? <laughs> baby gay. That's funny. Right. I've been hearing that I rumor. I thought that was a new kind of rumor. Rich, there, there's a rumor that Richard Lewis is gay. Oh, I believe Are it. you out of your mind? I'm not out of my mind. She's just like people, the sexiest girl in the world. That's People right. have come up to me and they said, you know, all that talk That's about possible. Richard Lewis and models is really? fake. Richard Lewis is gay. Is that really true? Are you out of your mind? Have you ever made it with a man? <laughs> never. I'm trying you to... swear to God? Say, I swear to God I never I, made it with a man. I, don't, I, I swear to God, but I, I love women. You do, but did you ever make but it with a man? But do you make love if I to made, If I was a homosexual, I'd come out, I'd you say would? it. Oh, and a man, I can't, you know, I think it's really despicable when people don't. You know, for their careers or any people. Hug That's me. Good cover. Huh? Hug me. <laughs> you. Yeah. <laughs> you should come out. Of the, there's not a closet big enough for you. Oh, be quiet. That's so not you're nice. not getting. You attack me enough. Did I really? On other stations. I want to attack you to Keswick. Is what? he not There's gay? a night in Philly. Because I swear to God, God I had December a friend. What, that said he was homosexual? I had a friend wow. who said to me she Stop. knew somebody who dated Richard when he was very young, before he became famous. And he was a guy? And No, this was a woman. Yeah. And she said, we didn't make love? Well, you know you know him. Why don't you say hello? She goes, oh, he's gay. Really? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Is that true? Let me, let me tell you something. Yeah. Do you know what happened? Are you gay? What? No. You, you know, you're, you're not going to no, be allowed on the I show again. because I love I love women. <laughs> right. But the point is, you wow. know, when you become, when you become, get on television, out of the closet, people will say things. Right. Like, uh, oh, I saw him, uh, you know, uh, screwing a possum. You know, <laughs> now, this is a good interview today. Yeah, I'm telling you, this really well, happened that they saw Richard me. walking down the street. <laughs> this is interesting. And the woman said, he's gay. Wow. So, All right, do me a favor. Let's do a test. I didn't want to go out with her. That's do a test. That's what I meant. You know? Let me see you kiss Jackie, and we'll see if you get aroused. I don't, hey, come on. Kiss Jackie Martley and see kiss, if you get aroused. Kiss him on the lip. Test? Well, this is a perfect example of your demographic. <laughs> yeah. Right, you want me to sign your book? Yes. Yeah, okay. By the Let's way. See. Dear Richard, go for HBO. Well, I'm, I'm writing this.